Now, who would have thought that New York would wind up being such a monumental part of this movement? Welcome to Unifier TV, where truth has no fear. New York, well, rather, the Supreme Court judge of New York has actually knocked down the vaccine mandate for medical workers. Now, this is actually monumental. This is big. This is very important because, you know, New York just claimed another victory a few days ago when the largest teachers union, I believe in the U.S., I want to say, actually claimed victory over the possibility of them losing their jobs. So now they fought, they protested, and now they're able to remain on the payroll, remain working for the school district. However, they may not be able to teach in the classes. They have other duties that they have to tend to, but at least they don't have to lose their jobs over this, this mandate. I'm sure they much rather teach, but that's fair. At least they can still get money. So that's a major victory for New York. Now it's another victory. So who would have thought that the blue state of New York would be an example for a lot of us? You know, a lot of us are privileged to live in red states where it's an, it's an understood and nearly automatic pushback when it comes to stuff like this. But you have people, whether you're conservative, Republican, liberal, whatever, in these other blue states who may not be okay with what's going on with this so-called mandate. And I call it so-called because it's not legal, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm getting into the example, the stand up, the pushback, the protest without lives being lost, without buildings being demolished and without, without arrest being made. I'm talking about the real protest, not a peaceful protest in the eyes of CNN. But some of the real protest, a real pushback that was actually very much effective. We can actually all learn a lot from the people of New York. California is pushing back. So I think that we all should learn from this. If you're at risk of losing your job and you can afford to just quit, if you can afford to just quit and sit at home and say, hey, look, forget this thing. I have enough to sit back until I find something else. If you have that kind of time, I urge every one of you to help others who are in a position where they can't afford to quit, where they don't know what to do. We need people who can get into the trenches and try to organize maybe class action suits or allow other people to, to use you and your time to help them further this movement of pushback. Like, this is not legal. You shouldn't have to lose your job. You shouldn't have to lose your career. You shouldn't have to lose your house and everything you work hard for for an unconstitutional mandate. We even have pushback within the NFL. We have NFL players, Cole Beasley for one. A lot of you guys are familiar with him. He used to play for the Dallas Cowboys and he was blessed enough to play for a different team now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna go against the um, Cowboy hater over here for sure. That's another topic though. So Cole Beasley now plays for the Buffalo Bills. Now, he has said on numerous occasions that he will retire before he gets this shot. He shouldn't have to do that. He shouldn't have to consider retirement. Even DeAndre Hopkins, I believe, who plays for the Arizona Cardinals, who used to play for the Houston Texans, I believe he said the same thing, that he would retire before he's forced to get this vaccine. Why should anyone, whether you're an athlete, doctor, McDonald's worker, whatever it is, why should you be forced to have to find other means of income, have to give up your job or career over something that is your choice to reject, your choice to get? It, we have our rights and it's not safe. It's not smart. And it doesn't make sense to try to mandate a vaccine when you don't even know what people's health limitations are. You're trying to limit the, 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 the ways of bypassing the mandate. Even if it's health related, they're trying to limit the ability to uh, bypass this thing. So I have to tip my hat. I have to tip my hat to the state of New York and the residents in New York and it's definitely something that we could all learn from. Um, I mean, honestly, I wish I could do more. I'm still, I'm still digging to figure out how we could push back. And we, we know it, it they're going to try to censor things. They're going to try, but realistically, what can they do to you physically? They can't do anything to you. So what they're doing is they're going through the places that you go and the people that you work for. 
to put the muscle on you and they're putting the muscle on them because legally they can't make you get this shot, honestly. And they can't legally punish you for not getting it because of your constitutional right to not get it. So what are they doing? They're, they're trying to put sanctions on, san sanctions on business owners, which is eventually going to trickle down to us. They're trying to put sanctions and, and penalties on uh, not, not just our employers, but places that we go to eat, places that we go to buy groceries, get clothes, whatever. And they're putting the muscle on big business to put the muscle on us. You know, it, it's, it's quite a ridiculous situation. However, <clears throat> let's let's step up. Let's step out. Let's be bold. Let's be strong. This is not a battle that we that we have to lose. Uh, you just have to know your rights. So, I mean, that's why I always say know your rights. That's why I always say realize what the Constitution says. Yeah. So, yes. Let's get in this. Let's fight back and let's do it the right way. Because look what happened in New York. Hey, thank you for watching my video. Uh, I really do appreciate the support. If you also like to support your health, I recommend checking out BioTrust Multi Collagen. I've been taking it for a couple of weeks now. I also have the Multi Collagen Booster. I've seen tremendous differences in my hair, skin, and nails. And yeah, men do care about those things too. So <laughs> if you're like me and you don't want to get into big pharma or anything crazy that they produce over there, you just want all natural and it's definitely affordable then check out BioTrust. Uh, I stand by it. I've seen the results myself. So check them out. I'll post, post the link in the description and God bless.